Hello everyone, Jeffrey Kruger here. What you're looking at is this beautiful watchmaker's lathe and I'm going to explain direct reading and indirect reading scales and what that means. This is a very small watchmaker's lathe and this slide on here has scales on it and the principles are the same with larger lathes. Some, some lathes incorporate indirect reading and some don't. So you might want to know that before you start doing a project when you use different lathes. That being said, on this particular slide, um, slides are this controlled by a screw. You know, not much different from this basic ready rod screw and this nut. These are threads per inch, and the screw and the nut that controls this slide is 40 threads per inch. So that means that. With, when I get the backlash out, see when it's loose like that, that's backlash. But when I get the backlash out, and I look at this scale, and I use a magnifying glass <laughs> with this little scale here, and if this is zero here, and I turn this one revolution, that means that this slide moved that way 25 thousandths of an inch directly. So I want to go 25 thousandths, there it is. Another 25, there it is. So that's a direct reading scale, 0 to 25. Now if I go over to this slide, part of the slide, it has the same screw, 40 threads per inch. So when I move this to one revolution after I take the backlash out, like this, this tool and slide and everything moved in 25 thousandths as well, except the scale is has 50 marks on it, unlike the 25 marks on this scale. So, and the reason for that is, is if I were had the backlash out and I'd already made a cut and I measured my part, and I decide, well, I want to take 10 thousandths of an inch off more, I move this exactly 10 and I cut and I come back and when I measure it it'll show that I moved it and I cut and it did take 10 more off but this scale is 0 to 50 and in reality I only moved it when I move this 10 this moves in only 5 so everything that I move this on this scale it's really moving it only half and the reason for that is it's a spindle and it's a turning part and it moves the tool half because as you're cutting it cuts it off on the front half and the back half so uh, that's why they make an indirect reading scale so this one here goes 25 thousandths on a turn and this one does too but it's graduated in 50 so when I'm reading it and I'm moving it Let's say I move it ten thousandths here, it really only moves in five. But if I move this one here ten thousandths, it actually does directly move ten thousandths. So that's the basics of direct reading and indirect reading on the scales when it comes to lathes. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to be doing some cool projects with this lathe here and hopefully I'll be posting videos on that and I hope you enjoy them. And have an excellent day, everyone.